Tonight on Toy Shiz, Riddle Me Coffee. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. DC Fandom 2021 has come to a conclusion with the release of the brand new Matt Reeves' The Batman trailer. And it looks cool for what it was. I mean, to be quite honest with you, I kind of liked the simple, brutal trailer, you could say, last year. And now that it's a whole year later... I'm just ready to see the film at this point. I don't want to know anything, spoilers, nothing like that. I just want to go in there blind and see what's what with the film. And yeah, that's my highest hopes. But of course, following the conclusion of the trailer and DC fandom, McFarlane Toys had a couple new DC multiverse figures to show off that will coincide with the new The Batman film. And just to let you guys know, I will have pre-order links in the description below. Thanks in advance. They do help my channel to grow so let's jump right into it first and foremost we're getting the catwoman figure and we'll go more towards do they kind of look like what i've seen so far in trailers and whatnot and i think that yes it does she's clad all in black she's got a whip to her and as long as it's just a very selena kyle very catwoman for the film hopefully that just matches up with what we're seeing here and very minimal accessories like i said it's just the whip but she comes with a dc multiverse stand as well and i like on the packaging i really like the batman logo that they did for the movie it's very kind of batman beyond ish you know what i mean anytime you put like red like that in the batman or you think of batman the animated series with the red skies and such so cool i definitely dig that and then you have the riddler now this it kind of seeing the riddler in shadow in the very first trailer to see it now it's a bit jarring right it's gonna take a little bit to kind of get used to it's like it's basically a guy in a in a green Parker, eh? It's raining out or something like that. But he's got a little question mark right there on his lapel. And again, I would say, yes, this figure does look like what we've seen to be the Riddler for this new movie. It's not as exciting. You know what I mean? Like, even the Catwoman and the Riddler, they're not as exciting as you'd say a, a comic book look. But that could all change once we see the movie. So you got the Riddler, and then you have a uh, like, guy... Uh, paintbrush to a scraping tool something like that uh, if you know exactly you can comment down below i'm sure but again same packaging dc multiverse yada yada now what's a riddler and a catwoman without a batman and well before we get to that we have the new bat cycle and this is actually pretty cool because mcfarland toys does a great job with vehicles i will say especially in the affordability of them but you get this bat cycle and it comes with an extra hand which i'm assuming is for the Batman to hold on to the handlebars of said motorcycle. And it looks like it has a stand too to keep the figure upright. So right off the bat, you can see Batman right here. That's pretty cool to me. He looks, I mean, McFarlane pictures sometimes, they just don't do their products justice, especially when we looked at Lobo earlier. But if he goes on the bike and he looks like that, yeah, totally down. Because I'm, again, I'm excited to see this Matt Reeves Batman. Just the first trailer and seeing what he does, he beats the tar out of that criminal. That was really cool. So yeah, I'd like to have the new Batman on my shelf. And you see it's the standard vehicle type packaging for the Bat Cycle. So again, any pre-orders, yada yada, you can get them down in the links below. And then you have Robert Pattinson's Batman. And I will say, in kind of looking at it up close, I think that they pretty much nailed the look. He has more of a grayish black it's not black armor it's more of a gray tone which like gunmetal i guess you could say but i like the way the cape goes across his shoulders it's a bunch of different batman looks that i've seen over the years so it's nice to see them all incorporated i definitely like the look of this bat suit but again it all depends on how the movie is so he looks to come with a bat gadget looks like a uh, grappling hook and again as long as he's sound uh, yeah, he articulates well and everything else and it looks like a cool batman that you could put on that bat cycle so honestly out of the whole lot of this wave we'll say uh definitely batman and the bat cycle i think that those are shaping up to be good riddler catwoman sure why not but uh, the bat cycle and batman definitely grab me as if we need another batman like we need a hole in our heads am i right but at the same time yeah we get just excited for the movie and everything else so fingers crossed the movie is good right i liked the penguin in the trailer i thought that was cool so i'm just gonna leave it as hey whatever happens happens but at the same time i'm not gonna go looking for spoilers and all that other kind of stuff because i want to go in there and have a nice time but 
I am curious to know what you guys think about all these new figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? And what did you think about the new trailer? Are you as excited as maybe you were the first trailer? Or has it kind of subsided? Give me your thoughts down below. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if I don't talk with you, have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.